In this demo, we will cover a number of core capabilities of the Automation 360 platform that allow developers to easily put together automation by composing different components and customizing them to meet a client's business needs. The business scenario is the following. Call centers today are trying to reduce the average handling time for call volumes by enabling virtual agents to do more by integrating them with multiple systems in the backend with RPA or API, which can then automate tasks and resolve customer requests quickly and efficiently. Increasingly, they are making use of chatbots like Core AI that are able to understand customer intent, and once the intent is identified, the chatbot is able to leverage RPA bots or APIs to start various business processes in the backend. The use case is this. Jane, who is a shopper on an e-commerce site, finds that she is unable to use a coupon code during checkout and reaches out to a virtual agent for help. The virtual agent is able to identify the intent of Jane's request and invokes Automation 360 bots behind the scene to kick off the back-end process to support Jane's inquiry. In this video, we will showcase how you can compose an end-to-end -end automation by combining various components and customizing it to enhance the customer's experience with the service desk, as well as reduce call handling time. We will show how developers can easily integrate conversational AI with the Automation 360 control room with API to trigger a business process in Automation 360. Discover pre-built bots and packages from the bot store and seamlessly import them into the Automation 360 control room and use API integration in Automation 360 to create an incident ticket on ServiceNow for the customer request and also send notification of the incident to support engineers. To make it easier to follow, here is a map of what's ahead. First, we will walk through the customer's journey on the e-commerce site and her conversation with the virtual agent. You will see how Automation 360 is integrated with the Core AI chatbot and how the chatbot triggers bots in Automation 360 to initiate a back-end process that creates a service ticket for Jane and also informs support engineers of the incident ticket. Next, we will show you the Automation Developer's journey. You will see how easy it is to create the entire automation end-to-end -end by leveraging pre-built packages from the bot store and also using Automation 360's powerful API capabilities to integrate with conversational AI Core AI chatbot in this case, and integrating with the external applications like ServiceNow for incident tracking and MS Teams for notifications. We will end with a summary of Automation 360 capabilities we have demonstrated in this demo, as well as some helpful information on our API and integration capabilities. Let's start with the end user's journey on the e-commerce site and her conversation with the virtual agent. Meet Jane, who is shopping for a fitness tracker on ShopEasy.com. Jane adds a product to her cart and applies a discount coupon prior to making the payment. She notices an error upon applying the discount coupon. Jane starts a dialogue with Mia, ShopEasy's virtual agent, and explains that she has a coupon code, but she is unable to apply it to her shopping cart. Mia is integrated with Automation 360 and configured to trigger a bot in Automation 360 via APIs. Once it receives the coupon code from Jane, it triggers the RPA bot in A360 to confirm if the coupon code is actually valid. This API call is asynchronous in nature so that the conversation with Jane can continue as the bot processes the request in the backend and comes back with a response. Mia triggers an A360 bot to validate coupon code. Let's take a pause here and show you what is happening behind the scenes. Mia deploys the A360 bot by calling a bunch of A360 control room APIs to authenticate, deploy, and start the RPA bot workflow. The A360 bot starts executing the workflow steps one by one. First, the bot validates the coupon code from a lookup. This can be a database lookup or a list of predefined values. If the coupon code is valid, it starts the next action. If the coupon code is invalid, it informs the chatbot and Jane. Second, the bot makes a call to the ServiceNow instance to create an incident for the Service Desk team. Third, it invokes MS Teams API to send priority notification to the MS Teams channel of the Service Desk team. Lastly, it sends a response back to Mia confirming the coupon is valid and provides the incident number for tracking. Now let's get back to Mia and see the bot response to the customer. Note that Mia has now received confirmation that the coupon was valid and an incident ticket has now been created to resolve the coupon code issue for Jane. 
Now let's see how easy it is to create the entire automation end-to-end -end by leveraging pre-built packages from the bot store and also using A360's powerful API capabilities to integrate with conversational AI and external applications. Vinit is a bot developer on the Service Desk team. He logs in to the Automation Anywhere bot store where he discovers the pre-built packages he can use to develop the automation quickly. The import process is simple. Once you discover the package, click Get Package and add to Control Room directly. The bot store packages are easy to use and are intuitive and require a few inputs. The Core AI NLP package allows the consumption of AI models built with Core AI's natural language processing framework directly from Automation360. The ServiceNow package provides drag and drop connectors for Automation360 bots to integrate with ServiceNow APIs. Let's see what Vinit has configured in Core AI to set up the integration to Automation360. Vinit has already designed, built, trained, and published a conversational chatbot on the Core AI platform as shown so it can now understand the unstructured user text, sanitize it, and extract the intent, in this case, the coupon code. The chatbot workflow is configured to use the required control room URL, the required A360 bot, and corresponding authentication parameters so that the right RPA bot is triggered and deployed for the customer's intent. The chatbot is configured to invoke a sequence of A360 API calls, such as 1. Authentication API to connect to the A360 control room. 2. Call deployment API to trigger RPA bot based on the customer's intent. And 3. Retrieve response from the A360 bot. Next, Vinit logs into the Automation360 control room and begins building a bot. He is able to use the packages that he imported from the bot store by finding them in his bot workbench. He builds the bot by performing a series of package drag and drops and intuitive configuration of those packages. He uses the Core AI package, ServiceNow package, and a REST web service action to orchestrate the series of tasks that his bot must perform to quickly resolve the coupon issue. Vinit uses the ServiceNow command package from the bot store and configures it to invoke the ServiceNow API to create an incident. Vinit is able to customize this step to shop Easy's business needs by adding the necessary input parameters required to send the API request. He first starts a ServiceNow session by adding the ServiceNow URL, OAuth endpoint, and the login credentials as shown. In the next step, he inserts a record into the incidents table by passing a JSON payload. The incident ID is then available for the subsequent steps in the workflow. This completes the design of the bot workflow. Let's wrap up by summarizing the key capabilities we have demonstrated in this demo. Automation Anywhere provides powerful marketplace capabilities in the form of headless APIs that integrate with any enterprise system, an easy to discover catalog of bots and command packages, and a smooth drag and drop process for developers to build compelling automation workflows. We have shown the following key differentiators. One, we have shown how to compose an end-to-end -end automation by combining various components and customizing it to enhance the customer's experience with the service desk, as well as reduce call handling time. Two, easily integrate Conversation AI with the A360 control room with API to trigger a business process in Automation360. Three, discover pre-built bots and packages from the bot store and seamlessly import them into the A360 control room to develop an end-to-end -end automation. And four, use API integration in Automation360 to create an incident ticket on ServiceNow for the customer request and also send notification of the incident to support engineers. Thank you for visiting the Automation Anywhere YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and learn how to build your own digital workforce with our automation success platform. Get your free demo today at automationanywhere.com.